Question 14. Here is a shape on a grid. It says, for each statement, put a tick if it is true, put a cross if it is not true. So let's have a look at the statements. And we'll take each statement one at a time. So the first statement says, the shape is quadrilateral. Now remember, quadrilateral is any shape with four sides. So does it have four sides? Well, we've got one side, two sides, three sides, four sides. Yes, it does. So that statement's an easy one. We can just tick it. Second statement says the shape has two lines of symmetry. Well, if we do a line across the middle through there, connecting those two corners, is that a line of symmetry? And the answer is no, it isn't, because as you can see, the two sides of the line of symmetry are not equal. And if the two parts of the shape on either side are not equal, it can't be a line of symmetry. The bit at the bottom is a lot bigger. If you fold it over the bit at the bottom, so it tries to fit over the top, it wouldn't fit. It would be way too big for it. So that can't be a line of symmetry across the middle. But what we have got is a line of symmetry down the middle, like so. Now if you folded the left-hand side over, it would fit exactly over the right-hand side. So that is a line of symmetry. So does the shape have two lines of symmetry? No, it doesn't. We cross it because it only has one line of symmetry. The next question, the shape is a parallelogram. Now what we've got here is a quick look at the quadrilaterals. So we've got a parallelogram, a rhombus, a rectangle, a square, a trapezium. It says trapezoid there for the Americans, but in this country you normally call it a trapezium. And we've got a kite. Now remember a rhombus is like a wonky square where all four sides are equal but there are no right angles. A parallelogram is like a wonky rectangle where you've got two short sides and two long sides but again no right angles. Trapezium is where you've got one pair of parallel lines but what you can see here clearly is that this shape here that we're dealing with matches a kite just like an old-fashioned kite that you would fly in the sky. So it is not a parallelogram and that's because it is a kite. And the main features of a kite is that it has one line of symmetry and it also has a short pair of equal sides which we can mark off with a pair of lines like this. Those two sides are equal and it also has a long pair of equal sides and to show that they're equal we'll mark them with a double pair of dashes like that final statement says the shape has one right angle. Now the easiest thing to do here is get something that you already know has a right angle. Could be a piece of tracing paper if you're using trace paper in this test. I could actually use this thing here because I know that there is a right angle in the corner, in each corner, and I could twist this round and see if I can get the right angle to fit. So there's the right angle in that corner, and as you can see, it fits perfectly in this corner here. So it does have one right angle. Now the question is, does it have any other right angles? So let's try and fit the corner into one of the other angles. Now this will be a bit fiddly with what I'm using here, but it'll be easier using actual paper. Now as you can see, the right angle would be here, but there is an extra bit here. So the angle at this side is actually bigger than a right angle. And since it's symmetrical, it would be the same on the other side. The only one we haven't tested is at the bottom. And you can probably see by drawing in that it would need to be like that to be a right angle. So this angle here is a lot smaller than a right angle. So the only right angle there is, is this one at the top of the kite. This angle here is a right angle. This one on the side is obtuse, bigger than 90 degrees. This one is also obtuse, and this one at the bottom is acute. So the only angle is at the top, which is a right angle. So the shape has one right angle. Yes, it does. And that's the end of that question.